We have a two-in-one uh, device here, uh, which is using a new OS made by a winner called Double OS, uh, and that's kind of a dual system. Uh, one part is Android 6.0, and the other part is uh, Phoenix OS. Can we check it out? Yeah, Let's yeah, no right problem. Here. I'll stick it here. So the Double OS is um, realizing the dream of uh, two UIs in one. Yeah, right? that's right. So. At the moment with a tablet you can't really do any office or sort of productivity work so what we want to do is combine kind of uh, tablet functionality and entertainment with light office work so here it's kind of a familiar desktop feel with, with all the apps right here yeah, and you've got your WPS if you want to do some sort of uh, office work um, also this is GMS certified by Google um, so it supports updates uh, also will come with YouTube and sort of the standard Google apps um, so if you want to sort of turn it back into a into a tablet, you can just either remove it from the dock, uh, and here it will prompt you to switch to Android. So if I hit that, you'll see it's quite a fast boot into Android. Uh, and now we're into tablet mode. Nice. Um, That's regular. Uh, what's it called? Uh, a vanilla Android experience, right? Yeah. This is Marshmallow on here. Uh, so this is 6.0, and this the the UI looks like a regular. Yeah, just like stock Android kind of experience on that. Uh, and then if you hit the system mode, uh, now we'll be switching back into the, the Phoenix OS. Which is also triggered by automatically when yeah, you Yeah, which in. is also triggered by the dock. Um, so if I turn it back into the tablet mode, and then I put it in its dock, it'll now, it'll now prompt me to switch it into the Phoenix OS mode. That's cool. Um, so we, we also have it on the, the machine next to this one. Uh, so these are running an OptiCore A83T. This is similar to like the Surface Pro kind of device. Yeah. Uh, it can fit like a keyboard case. Nice. So you would have sort of the case and the keyboard integrated together. Uh, and it would offer the same functionality as the two-in-one device where you can switch between uh, two operating systems. Nice. So that's uh, uh, the teams at Almaner have, have been optimizing this. Yeah. And, and together in partnership with uh, Phoenix, right? Yeah, with Phoenix and we Google together. So it's RIP um, for the sort of system to allow it to switch. Uh, but obviously it's sort of Phoenix and, and Google's... Uh, Is this Andromeda OS? Is this Android? Andromeda OS, the, the, the rumored... Uh, no, I'm just joking a little okay, bit. Okay. But Google is... Maybe this is the future of Android, right? Because yeah. This has to be... Yeah, I think so. I think like people are migrating that Android experience uh, onto desktops more. So I think for Android... Um, also, the, like the multi-window support on here for Android is quite a useful feature. Yeah. So this is one of the problems with a tablet device. Obviously, you don't have multi-window support. Uh, but using this, you can do that. All right, uh, this, this productivity right here, you have all kinds of windows open. Yeah, if you go to here, you can have a look at the, the system information. Uh, so about the tablet, uh, and you can see sort of what, what is running here. Um, so here's the, the all winner double OS. What does the octopus mean? That's just, uh, okay, that's just a code name. For yeah, this maybe product. it's a code name for the product. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Um, and then here you can see the A83T optical processor is powering uh, this two-in-one device. All right, so that's uh, productivity. Um, this is the, f the future of productivity right here with yep. the Alwiner. Yeah, so like I said, that's our, our plan to kind of migrate the tablet experience uh, into sort of the office environment. Uh, also for people like students, if you want to do some schoolwork or something like that, uh, it's quite a, a useful thing. And this is uh, affordable, right? Uh, this was launched crazy affordable uh, on, Indi uh, on the Yeah, I mean, it was. I think it was like $79, something like that on Kickstarter. Uh, so this is uh, quite a nice design and a, a low cost kind of PC. With no touch and then we get a little bit higher when we do these kinds of yeah. things. So at the moment, if you want a touchscreen laptop, they're fairly premium. Uh, so this is kind of a, an economical solution to that. Uh, and this also has dual USB uh, and support for expandable memory. Nice, but thin and compact, light and affordable. Yeah, and like you said, it's a lot lighter than carrying around a laptop all the time. Um, and then if you just want to go out, maybe on a bus journey or something, you can just take the tablet part. Uh, if you're at school or in the office, obviously you can attach it to the dock. Cool.